Yo, you're looking at the most improbable two-point conversion in Madden history. I'm talking like all Madden ever. <laughs> Never quit games. I'm going to take you through it. Let's go. This was just one of them games. I was playing, I don't know what was going on. I was playing like a sucker. Case in point, get the pick. Accidentally hit the button. Sidney Brown on the pick. Pitches it back, he picks it up. Walks it into the end zone, and then had the nerve to give me a little bit of a taunt at the end there. No worries though, I come right back down the field. Hit him with a little swing pass. DeAndre Swift, touchdown Eagles, tied up 7-7. Another example of me playing crazy. He throws it up, there. Slay. CD Lamb, I swing out way too wide, lost the leverage, and he taunted me into the end zone. I draw the ball right back down the field, get it to the 50-yard line. I go to Old Faithful PA Seams. He had it locked up. I tried to playmaker it, didn't get it up over the, the cornerback. Picked off 14-7. He got the ball back again. All right, now he's starting to get under my skin a little bit. It's fourth and six on the 40-yard line. He goes for it. Swings it out the pilot. He drops back about 25, 30 yards, throws it up. I get beat, touchdown pilot. I'm always preaching play the right way. Should have never gone for it here. Drop back, but I got Quez deep. Connects with him, he dies, can't catch him. Going into the end zone, I got torn a little bit myself now, 21-14. Now he running clock, it's about to be halftime. He takes it down to pretty much no seconds on the clock. Inside zone, should have expected it, didn't. Touchdown pilot again. I worked the ball down the field. He got my icons going crazy, but I still dot him up on the sideline. Timeout, a couple seconds left in the half. Here I was going to take a shot. If I had it, if not, I want to get AJ Brown for a quick out and get down, see if I can get a couple yards closer for a field goal to two. No shot, get him down, timeout. It's all about playing smart here. Take my points where I can get them. Jake Elliott comes in for a 58-yard field goal, knocks it through. We're going into halftime. He irritated the heck out of me in the first half, but he's up 28-17, deservedly so. And I got some work to do in the second half. I get the ball first in the second half. He reads this first play here. No worries. I take Goddard across the middle for a big game. I come back and I size him up for the screen with Swift. Get it out there. This is touchdown all day long. Again, goes to me playing kind of crazy this game that should have definitely been a touchdown but I noticed he brings a heavy blitz and most Madden players they're gonna bring a blitz back to back so with that heavy blitz I call this play and I'm looking for Watkins to go across the field for the easy putty snap the ball no blitz so I look back drop Watkins beat his man but I missed the safety hanging back there he gets the pick 28-17 his ball Quitting is at an all-time high this year. Most of y'all would have probably tapped out right there. <laughs> but I stick with it. Never quit games. He throws the incompletion. Smart money right now, though, is to run the ball, ball control, let that clock tick, and go ahead and get your dub. But he's throwing the ball. He's taking another shot down the field. He gets this one. Very next play, here he goes again, taking another shot. Again, smart money is to run the ball. I don't swing out wide this time. I'm in position to knock the ball out of Lamb's hands. All right, so now he's irritating me. He's up 28-17. Should be running the ball, running this clock. Here he goes again, drops back. Throws it up to Lamb. This time he's double covered. And Slay gets the pick that time. This is how I know I was irritated. This two-play sequence here. I think I'm going to Watkins here. I'm looking for Watkins here. Drop back. He hits me with the blitz. I drop back a million miles, which is something I don't normally do. He gets a big sack. Fourth and 24. I immediately go hurry up. Again, I never do that. What I would have normally done was punted the ball, trusted my defense. Drop back though, looking for Goddard. Dotted him up, get the free form completion. Third and 12 here. I should have hit Goddard right over this linebacker, boom, right there. I didn't hit him. I went to Devontae. He breaks it up, fourth down. So I take my field goal here. It'll put me down by eight. Touchdown two-point conversion will tie this game up if I get a stop. And he ain't played that last drive too smart anyway, so let's see what happens here. 
So I work him to a third and six here. I'm thinking he's gonna go inside zone. So that's my first read. I'm the linebacker. He doesn't go inside zone, so I scramble to the outside, taking away that crosser and the scramble. Oh my God! And then he has piled over the top again. Same play, got beat again. He tries to taunt him to the end zone. So now he up 34 to 20, looking sweet. I'm at a third and 10. Drop back, get sacked again. Fourth and 24 again. At this point, fourth and 24, he got my icons going crazy. Ain't nothing to it but to just do it. Throw it up there. AJ almost had it, but he gets the stop. I'm gonna put my card up in the upper corner on that 5-2 defense. Here I go 5-2, I get the sack. He goes, hurry up. Up 14, less than two minutes to go. What you gonna hurry up for? I get the deflection. I always preach, take your win when you got it. He's going trips. <laughs> All you gotta do is run the ball and let this clock run. I'm still in my 5-2. It just causes confusion down on the goal line. He tries to scramble, throws across his body. Give me that. Gave him the ball pretty much with a touchdown in hand. And he turns the ball over. Could have put this game away right there. So he just gave me life. I go five wide. I'm looking for Quez on a deep shot. I didn't like the look. Took too much time and I get sacked. Come back with the same look. I go free form to Brown. If I ain't do that hop step, I was going. Oh, he breaks the tackle, the spin cycle. Brown is out. If he had some more speed, he would have been going for the tutty. He was tired. He gets taken down. You notice here, I'm not calling my timeouts. I want the ball. I want to kick him the ball after I score a touchdown. I still had three timeouts. Nothing there. I had to scramble, and I got to burn the timeout right there. All right, how many of y'all tapping now? Down 14, 17 seconds to go on the clock. <laughs> Most people would have quit long before now. But I always play my games all the way through because people play stupid all the time. I get Quez on the zig. Can't catch him, touchdown. 11 seconds to go. I gotta go for the onside kick. I mentioned in quite a few videos that I don't like the onside kick. I like to kick it deep with three timeouts and force somebody to do something stupid. But in this case, I had to kick it. And it changed around the way the onside kick work. I used to kick it just like I did just there, and it'll give me a shot. But now, he kicks it like wacky. So I'm like, all right, this ball game is over. He declines the penalty. It's my ball. I got one more shot at this, y'all. We got 11 seconds with two timeouts in hand. He goes prevent. Get AJ on a free form. I'm down to the 40-yard line. I purposely don't run PA scenes as much this year as I did last year because I killed that play. But if y'all watch this channel, y'all know <laughs> what the go-to is. And I added a little wrinkle to it this year too. He's in prevent, PA scenes, wishing a prayer, drop back, dot him up in the corner, 33 to 34, chance for a two point conversion for the win. This is my go-to goal line play. I showed you this at the intro. I usually won't run this against a superstar on that side. I said, you know what, I'ma just go for it. He plays it poorly. He should have clicked on a lot earlier. Two point conversion, touchdown. I would have taken the field goal. Had he not been playing like a jerk trying to bomb me, you know, when all he had to do was run out the clock. But I was like, you know what, I'm going for two to take this one. With one second to go on the clock, the smart play is just the onside kick it. You know, a lot of people don't see it that way. They might see I'm trying to cheese him up. But it's, it's a greater chance of me kicking it deep and him running it back than onside kicking and him running it back. So, through the onside kick, getting down, most improbable win of 24, maybe ever. I was down by 14 points with 17 seconds to go, and he played it like a complete dummy. I'll take the win, though. Philly Renegade, yo, like, subscribe, comment. Holla at you later. Peace.